بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد The 18th juz or para of the Quran consists of Surah Al-Mu'minun and Surah Al-Nur and the first bit of Surah Al-Furqan as for Surah Al-Mu'minun, then it is a surah that each and every single one of us should read and contemplate. Because it basically, you know, the beginning of it uh, lists for us the characteristics of the Mu'minun, the believers. And so we should ask ourselves, do we belong, you know, from among uh, those who have these characteristics or not? And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala counts the, 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 the characteristics of the true believers. Uh, and that's how the surah begins. Uh, after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, the stages of how he created us, meaning uh, how each and every single human being is developed in the womb uh, of his mother. And this is something that was mentioned 1400 years ago when there was no science or medical science out there to prove that this is how uh, the, the, the fetus grows in the womb. And modern science has proven that, you know, what the Quran mentioned uh, is very, very accurate. Uh, later on in the surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions about death. There's, you know, uh, a scene of death that is depicted. Uh, also, uh, there is mention about the Day of Judgment, the blowing of the trumpet, uh, and also uh, the end of the kuffar. Uh, and um, uh, we notice here that uh, you know, Allah starts the surah, Surah Al-Mu'minun, by saying, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ That indeed the believers are successful. And Allah ends the surah by mentioning that the disbelievers are not successful. And so this is the reality. Uh, true success is the success of the Akhirah. Uh, then uh, after that we move on to Surah An-Nur. Surah An-Nur uh, is also referred to as the, 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 the Surah of uh, Al-Iffa or Chastity. And that's because the entire Surah talks about uh, modesty and chastity uh, and how uh, we must uh, preserve our uh, chastity. Uh, and so Allah begins the surah by mentioning those who break the wall of chastity, uh, and that is by committing zina, or accusing others of having committed zina. And so we have the legislations, uh, the divine legislations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the punishments for those uh, who are involved in zina or accuse others of zina. Uh, and then uh, after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions uh, the uh, story of al-ifq, the story of al-ifq, which is basically the story of how the, uh, the munafiqun, the hypocrites, uh, accused uh, the mother of the believers, Aisha radiallahu anha, of um, uh, having committed zina uh, and uh, you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from above the seven heavens uh, basically uh, mentioned that she is innocent of what they accuse her of and so uh, her innocence uh, you know uh, came in the surah and that is recited and will be recited until the day of judgment uh, and so, uh, you know, uh, th this story, there's many, many lessons that can be learned from it. Uh, uh, lessons pertaining to uh, how the Muslim society, uh, you know, uh, deals with rumors, uh, false rumors that are spread, how to deal with them, uh, what are the evil consequences of, fa of uh, spreading false rumors, and so on and so forth. Uh, after that, there are um, adab that are mentioned, uh, concerning, uh, you know, entering uh, our houses, entering the private areas uh, of our houses, um, uh, seeking permission before entering a house, and so on and so forth. And then we have also 
um, the importance of marriage and getting married in order to protect our chastity. And also there is mention of lowering our gazes, lowering our gazes uh, from looking at uh, haram, uh, as that will basically protect uh, us and protect our chastity. Um, after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, the parable of uh, Allah's light, uh, the light of Allah, and that's why this surah is referred to as Surah An Nur, uh, uh, the, the, the light, and that is referring to the light of Allah in the heart of the believer, and that is the light of Iman in our hearts. And then after that, Allah mentioned the parable of the disbelievers and the darknesses that they are living through. Uh, and then after that, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions uh, his promise that he will establish, that he subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, will establish uh, the believers uh, here in this world, meaning he will give them strength and empower them and allow them to establish themselves uh, upon the earth, but that comes with conditions. If we fulfill these conditions, then we will have empowerment and we will have uh, power and, uh, you know, the, the Muslims will have their, uh, you know, their own state and uh, their own um, uh, government and so on and so forth. This comes with conditions. Uh, after that, uh, towards the end of the surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions, uh, you know, a, a warning. Uh, a warning from disobeying uh, the command of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and then after that we move on to Surah Al-Furqan. Uh, Surah Al-Furqan, or the criterion, uh, basically refers to the Quran, and so the Quran is a criterion between truth and falsehood, and so uh, the Surah begins uh, by Allah subhanahu wa taala uh, praising uh, Himself as being the one who revealed the Furqan, the criterion, the Qur'an. And then also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deals with the accusations of the kuffar against the Qur'an, uh, them claiming that, you know, this Qur'an is something that uh, is a lie, it is not the word of Allah. Uh, and also Allah deals with the accusations against the Prophet sallallahu uh, alayhi wa that uh, he was not a true prophet. If he was a true prophet, uh, why does he have human uh, characteristics? Why does he eat? Why does he walk around in the markets? And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deals with these accusations. Uh, the rest of the surah we will cover uh, in the next juz. Until then, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu wa la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.